Hi, Kevin Rockwell here. Uh, it is installation day for our solar energy system for our house. Guys from Solar City are here. They're doing the layout, late, starting to put things together, uh, showing me where the uh, inverter box and the pan, uh, conduit runs will go and how it's going to connect into my current electrical uh, box in my house. And basically getting everything prepped and ready to do the rafter upgrades and then uh, start installing the solar system, solar energy system. So let's go take a look. Okay, so th this is uh, showing right here. We got the front of the house. Here's your main that we, we just went over where we're going to tie in with uh, our breaker. Um, we've got your inverter and your DC disconnect. And we have to have a DC disconnect. So you can see your three different mounting planes. Mounting plane uh, three. Oh, wait. Is that backwards? Yeah, no. Mounting plane one, mounting plane two, mounting plane three. Uh, this is the the vent that we're going to pull apart, try to get all of our lumber through for the Raptor upgrade. And these will be our conduit runs. It's not showing your chimney right here, but that's where we're going to stub out through the roof, through your eave and down the wall to the inverter. Okay. And uh, so this is this way you can see, this has all of our details for azimuth, zenith, and uh, Basically, this is just to help us with our general layout so we can go up there and just pull our measurements and figure out exactly where it is and how we can center it and make sure that we're on the money. Two choices. See, it's showing us coming down by this left hand pipe. Uh huh. But um, then we have to do a kick out and around uh, th this drain. And I'd rather, I think it'd look a lot tighter if we came down along the edge of the wall right here and then I can get underneath the pipe. Do a little offset over here into the inverter. Okay. Um, and then we're going to run our conduit. Um, I think lower is better to keep it out of the eye level. I, and, I, and I can run it all the way along. Say, I could probably drop it down here to your uh, mud seal mm -hmm. and run it all the way along over here and tie into your main. Which is okay, so it shows that we're going to use the existing breaker here. We're not doing a line side tap or a load side tap. So I'll just pull this out and. Uh, we pull off the vent so we can get access, so we can put our, so we can get our lumber in there for sistering to the rafters. And uh, just in case the opening, I, I left it here because I'd rather not uh, tear into the roofing material. I'd rather keep the waterproofing. But if for, if I cannot get the full length of uh, two by six in there, then I will have to pull out the base and I'll cut it from one rafter to the next, so that way we can at least redeck it and it'll be nice and solid for uh, the re-roof. What are the lengths on those two by sixes? Uh, anywhere from uh, seven to ten feet, seven inches. 